Who number one, boo? Well, you play you anyway. <laughs> it's DJ Squirt. Just be a Squirt. Oh, Squirt. Yo, she like I'm six feet in half. Tap it for one. The best Yes, share your challenges, your struggles, and your success to be an inspiration to someone else. See, your success. It starts with you. Hey, y'all. It's another dope-ass interview with DJ Squirt. Uh, I am DJSquirt.com. Shout out to them damn nerd DJs. We got another superstar in the game. <laughs> Let me fix my hair. <laughs> he is so freaking dope. Oh, my God. Hey, Trix. Okay. How you doing, boy? Yeah, but well, now I'm super boy. Now that I'm here with you, what's up? Oh, that, okay. You better talk that talk, okay? <laughs> that is so freaking dope. All right, look, Trey. I'm going to be good, I promise. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, Trey. Everybody knows that DJ Squirt is about bringing people together, showing them who you are, sharing your challenges, your struggles, and your success so that you can be an inspiration to someone else. Mm -hmm. Get it. You're a superstar. You are so dope. But look, everybody also knows you got to follow the rules when you have an interview with DJ Squirt. Rules? Which rules? Oh my God, there's rules to this, okay? I know that. Okay. Rule number one. Now that you're on the screen in the studio, uh -huh. you belong to DJ Squirt. Ooh. Damn. Like that? Just like that. Okay. You agree? Okay. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Okay, no so look. <laughs> Rule number two. Any hoochie mama, baby mama, wife, I don't care who she is, she gotta go. <laughs> That's how you do, huh? Oh, yeah. Boo, what's up? All right, let's do that. She out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to fight her now. You better tell her. You already said let's it. Do okay? Let's do that. All right. I grew up in the group home, and I ain't got no... <laughs> uh, I fight. I fight real hard. Okay, so look. All right. No, that is so dope. All right, boo. Now that we're in this beautiful relationship... <laughs> so you great. So you see. great now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm that bae. <laughs> oh, so look. So look. <laughs> now that we're in this beautiful relationship, I want to see that in the instance, let's see, look, we can't just both be beautiful and handsome and have all the money in the world. We have to actually get along. Okay. So here we go. What I want to do, Boo, I want to read a scenario to you, right? Okay. At the end of this scenario, you got to tell me how you're going to make me happy. Okay, but let's incorporate a couple of tips. Okay, look, tip number one. Hmm. Everybody knows that DJ Squirt likes them six feet and up, boo. <laughs> How tall are you? Six two. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you both well, like too. I fit. That's what you're saying. I fit. Mm -hmm. So far, okay. Cool. Then rule number two. She loves voices. You could. You can say anything and get anything you want if you say it in the right tone. So let's see. Say my name, boo. Yo, Squirt, what up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to go put air in my tires. Like, oh, come on. All right. Well, okay. We'll let you slide. I'm going to let you slide. I'm going to let you slide. You're a superstar. I'm going to let you slide. All right. Here we go. I'm going to read the scenario to you. At the end of the scenario, I need you to tell me how you will make me happy. Please incorporate my tips and let's see if you can get squirtified. You ready? Here's the story. We took a trip a weekend away. You and I. 
two nights, three days on a hill. Ooh, wait. Triggs. Anything you can think of, boo? <laughs> we did that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We had a great time. All right. End of the weekend. It's the third day. We both some bosses. We got to get back to making our money. We got to go. Right? So we look up. Your girlfriend, look out the window, boo. <laughs> me. Your girlfriend. Me. Look out the window. It's like 20 feet of snow outside. And we are stuck in this cabin another day. Now your girl can't make no money. We stuck in this cabin a whole nother day with her with an abstract, right? You tolerate me the whole day. It's the end of the night. So we're back in front of the fireplace, <laughs> sitting on the bare skin rug. You pour me a glass of wine, trying to chill me out. Like, girl, blah, girl, chill, right? True. It, it didn't work. I still got an attitude, right? True. Oh, here's the punch. Here's the punchline. I ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> True. But I'm playing hard to get. Okay. You got to tell me, include my tips, what you would do to make me happy. Mm. Keep it PG. 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 But I got to keep it PG, though. Yes, you're the artist. Be creative. Because mm -hmm. I probably would, knowing me, I would yeah, probably I have what? some palm. Um, some baby oil or, and something in that nature. So I would probably warm something up like that. Mm -hmm. Put it on the body, give you a nice side. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. I I think, something in that nature. I like that part about the baby oil. You know, that really. Okay, never mind. P PG, PG. Guess oh what, boo? You, 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 you have just been. What a five! All right, what I need you to do for me is shoot out your social media so that everyone can follow you. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, at official trades. You can um, tap in with my website, www.officialtrades.com, Twitter, mm -hmm. official trades. Pretty much everything official trades can I'm official like that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Say that. 6'2, use a fish. Mm -hmm. exactly. I heard you cook breakfast in Timberland boots, too. All right. <laughs> you don't even got to get out of bed. You feel me? <laughs> Boy, look, let me tell you something. AJ, now I'm by the number. Okay, back to the interview. All right, here we go. <laughs> I love to do this interview to get people to know who you are because our kids nowadays, like they trying to kill themselves over crazy stuff, not knowing there's a whole another world out here and there's options, right? Well, so I want to get them to know you. Maybe someone or some other child, most of these adults, can relate to you and your experiences and have some type of hope to continue on with their lives or goals, right? Well, well um, I had a I had a point in my life where I, I thought about giving up. Did That's you? something I'm going to share. I thought, I thought about giving up my career. I thought about giving up this in life in general. And um, if I wasn't where I was, well, well, I felt like I should be in life. Oh, my goodness. And um, thank God I didn't give up. Mm -hmm. I kept pushing. And um, mm -hmm. I was able to be blessed enough to coach a youth football team for a few years and Mm -hmm. and things of that nature and guide them and give them knowledge that I didn't have at that age. So I just want, you know, everybody to know that just to keep going, follow your dreams and, you know, just be yourself for the most part. Be yourself. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. to be yourself. It's only one you. That's what one of one is. It's only one you. So it's okay to be yourself. There's only one you, mm -hmm. and um, enjoy that. Take 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 that in, and um, you know, embrace it. I'm so glad you didn't give up, cause I'm a fighter. I, I could fight all your girlfriends. I ain't worried about them. Okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to say, like, they would just have to shoot me dead because you and me now, you and me now, right? Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, I love you more, right? 
I love you too, baby. <laughs> that is so, I am so inspired. Awesome. So look, um, whew, that was, that was, that was a good one right there. My goodness. I didn't expect that, but that's true. People see you and think that everything was all glitter and gold. And look at this. You sharing something to show. Look, I almost gave up. Oh, I'm wow. glad you didn't. All right, boo. Oh my goodness. How many siblings did you grow up with in your household? In the house, not Papa Rolling Stones and the other, you know what I'm saying? Who grew up with you? Four. Three brothers. One sister. And me. I was uh second to last. Hmm. Okay, okay. That's still good. It's almost the middle and it's not the baby. Okay. Almost the middle. Almost the middle. I am the cutest nerd you will ever meet. <laughs> I just want you to know. I am like the biggest nerd. Everybody know me. When I was little, they used to call me baby genius because I could figure anything out. <laughs> okay? You locked the door. I took the doorknob off, took it apart, got back in the house, <laughs> put the doorknob back together. I swear to God. Ask, ask anybody you know me. So, I'm, I'm like that, right? I had a theory of my own. No doctors, no school. This is a theory I put together myself. And okay. all the artists I would interview, they were either the oldest, the middle, or the only. And that became super successful. Except Jay-Z. <laughs> I'm telling them no. Except Jay-Z, you know. But that is pretty dope. You fit in my theory. Now I will put a picture of you on the wall in my school. For those. Do that. I, I'm so serious. I got a bunch oh, of pictures. Sure. Yes, I am. I, I saved I'm that really picture sure. of you. It was another picture I wanted to use of you. <laughs> I said, nah. I got something. I used, for you. We're gonna, we're I used the one he gave. Air. We're gonna okay. talk about it off air. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the one he gave me. <laughs> they like, court, I know you did that. Okay. Okay. So that is pretty dope. All right. So a lot of children have a lot of issues in school. You know what I'm saying? You already have it in bad at home. Then they got to go to school and deal with problems and still be a functioning successful adult. Hmm. Absolutely. How was school for you? Um, for me. It was a little different. Um, I was kind of like the, the jockey. So it was like, okay. yeah, I had it my way. Not everybody has it that way. But um, like I said before, I, I would um, advise you to just be yourself because once mm -hmm. school is over with and that phase of your life is over with, you got to be yourself. At the end of yeah. the day, in the real world. So why not start mm -hmm. at the age to be yourself and exactly. be comfortable with yourself? And whoever don't like you, they just not gonna like you. Just understand that not everybody's gonna like you. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. not everybody's gonna be um, okay with who you are. Mm -hmm. um, your, your journey is for you. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Just be yourself. Don't, don't. Be All yourself. right. In, in all the interviews that I've had, everyone that is successful in anything, they all have an instance in your life that, that in, inspired them to be who they are. What made you want to be official Triggs, the rapper? Like, what made you take this serious? Um, I would have to go back to when my brothers was like, I would watch them record Mm -hmm. This was on tape. This back when tapes, recording tapes was the way before CDs and all the really? everything. I, oh, you know, I think you know, I know. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll mm -hmm. say around that time is where I felt like, you know, that was my thing. And mm -hmm. um, really just playing the drums. Not a lot of people know I play the drums. I've been playing the drums since I was cool. You a drummer? Yeah. I tell so much about you. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I got that. I got that under the wing as well. But that that on top of uh, watching my brothers, you know, record music as well. Mhm. Mm I love drummers. That's what told me. You look like you like it though. I love drummers. Like I, I got pictures. I'm seeing some pictures. I'm a, I, I took drumming. <laughs> I did. I'm serious. <laughs> I was sorry. I was on a trip. I can tell. I really I can tell. Okay. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> I can tell. Okay. Oh my God. That is so good. Let me tell you what I learned about drummers. It takes a very, very intelligent mind to be a drummer. Definitely. 
drummers are more musical than that. That's the best instrument, in my opinion, due to everything that has a synchronized to actually be a drummer. Your brain has to function so many different ways to successfully be a drummer. Like it's amazing. Anyway, and you, you have rhythm. <laughs> so you, so you like that? Let me quit. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to keep a PG. Asking. I'm, I'm trying to keep PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, ooh. I'm not. I'm just asking. I'm in love. I'm in like, love with you for real. Like, like you. I'm gonna keep that in mind though. What's your ring finger sound? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you look like a scrub, but I'm making me an actual fair. <laughs> You're damn right. Now let me quit. <laughs> let me stop. Oh my God. I did I say that? <laughs> yeah, boo, that is so freaking dope. So that inspired you to do that. Um, what I would like you to do at this point is tell us where are you at in this game? Okay. You know, everybody has a journey, what they do with their music. Tell me the best you can, like how you got started, what you did. What happened next? What happened next? What happened next to where we're here today? Mm. Well, I went in. I, mm -hmm. I, I spent all of those long nights in the studio. I grinded. Mm -hmm. I, um, mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know, but every everything that I do, I've done on my own. As far as make beats, as far as engineering, as far as recording, mm -hmm. it's done in-house. So mm -hmm. I've done everything on my own. So mm -hmm. it's like, I perfected that. Um, mm -hmm. but there's also a business side because this is a music business. So okay. no, we're not the relationships so, either. Locking on that. Yeah, definitely. Build relationships, everything mm -hmm. of that nature. I was blessed enough to bring in the um people that I've brought in through these past few years and just locking in on on um you know connections and and, and just you know staying focused so, on that. How did you get where you are? Tampa, Tampa, Look. Mystery. Big shout out mm -hmm. to Tampa. Love you to death. That's family forever. Mm -hmm. Um, I was in, like I said, business side. I was mm -hmm. in uh, Seattle at the time doing mm -hmm. business. I was. I had my own tour set up. I had my own tour set up. I was making my own money. I was doing mm -hmm. my own. And mm -hmm. um, Snoop Dogg in the camp ended up contacting me because they felt what I was doing. They was watching me for a few months. Mm. And we ended up locking in the jail that, you know, changed my life. And you've been, see, people don't know. You've been, what you been doing? I've been chatting with Snoop. I'm, you know what I mean? You see the chain, matter of fact. Hold on. <laughs> this, ain't some, Show this, ain't some, this ain't something you could get off Craigslist. Okay. You better go, boy. Oh, yeah, we get married. Don't be shy. <laughs> Oh, that's fire. So you are on Snoop Dogg's label and you've been on there since when? 2019. Yes. You still rocking that. See, it's a difference in someone giving you an opportunity and working that opportunity. You feel me? You worked it. I already heard it. I already heard it. You know, you worked that opportunity and it shows me because you're still there since 2019. Cause you ever really did kick your ass off, you know what I'm saying? Goodbye, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, right? But th for you to be rolling that long, like that's dope. That is really dope. Like, right. um, that's amazing. That's amazing. So now it's you're a handling. Game. It's a cutthroat. It's a cutthroat game, but you gotta play chess. You gotta play. You gotta um, mm -hmm. handle your business. You be about your business. Mm -hmm. Like I know every, a lot of artists. I have I have younger artists under me that I um that I coach myself. Not, mm -hmm. only, not only this the sports side of things, but I have younger artists that I coach myself and I just let them know and I show them the way of this business. You have to give back. You got to give back. You know, business mm -hmm. minded. You know what That's I mean? Fire. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You're so dope. So we go together. You know you got Squirtify, so that means we go together. Yeah, like we, we yeah. together. Yeah. We are together. <laughs> what you said your ring size was again? Um, I think I, I, <laughs> I got you. We go talk offline, but yeah, my fingers are little. You know, you know my butt big. My butt is big. You said you like five. You said you like five. What? Five two. <laughs> so your ring size probably like six seven. You know, I, think it, I was gonna say six, but I don't want you to get the wrong size. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it. 
I love it. Man, you so dope and you handling this. You know what I'm saying? You know how many people they get one little clap from somebody and all of a sudden they too good to talk to? You were very personable. You was awesome. You jumped on that live with us. You're doing a damn thing. Like, I am so, so excited just by your success. And number two, you know, I'm a little groupy just a little bit. Don't tell nobody. But anyway, um, I would love when you can make it to Cleveland. And I get this school up and have some kids in that room. I need you to come speak to these children. I'm with it. I'm all in. I can't wait to have you come speak to them and tell your story. You got and me. I want I'm all in. Hmm? I'm, I'm excited. I'm all in. That's what I do. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. I can't wait. Well, I got my keys. I got keys to the office last week and I'm building it up. And um, I will keep you posted on when these classes are. Congrats, so congrats on that. Them. Thank you. Yeah, I was in Atlanta for four or five years. I came back home. <laughs> well, we're gonna tap it. in. We're gonna make. Okay. We're gonna make some something work, and uh, we're definitely gonna tap in with the youth because we're mm -hmm. definitely that's our future. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm with, that. and I have mm -hmm. I have children myself. So my goal okay. is to make sure that our future is. Amen. You know, we have to. It's more of us than what's really going on. And it's all about us. Everything to me, that I see this is supply and demand. Absolutely. If it's not demanded, it can't be supplied. Absolutely. So let's work on these mindsets, right? Definitely. Let's get right. it. That's dope. Man, I love you. You have a fan for life over here and a wife. <laughs> fan <laughs> and a wife. So anybody else, you better let them know. I don't. Yeah, she no. just, okay. she just flirted, know what's she up. Just flirted on the whole, you know what I mean? We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, boo. Thank you so much for joining me. But this has been another dope-ass interview with DJ Squirt, and I am with the legendary official, Triggs. He's signed to the Snoop Dogg label, and he's been on tour since 2019, rocking this business, right? Y'all know me. I'm about to get him. I'm about to be mine. Okay? Okay? No, you still gotta let me be me though. I talk that trash, so you'll know. We about to do it, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. Say good night, dude. Yeah, much love. Hey, girl, can't you? Oh, baby, girl, can't you?